Thunder Hill is a 25 hour long race, so it's, it's one of the longest endurance races in the world. It's a huge logistical nightmare, honestly, to, to just to get here, uh, much less to then run the entire event. It's not just uh, sheer speed and one person. It requires a whole team to do, and fastest cars do not always win. So I have always find that extremely appealing because there's a lot of strategy involved, and it's, it's also how well the cars are built. They have to last more than just 30 minutes. And it's, it's just, sometimes it's amazing because if I was to do this by myself, I'd be broken out of my house payment. <laughs> THRW or Team Honda Research West are a group of Honda employees who all use their resources and their knowledge of Hondas uh, to come together and race on their volunteer times. I grew up in a very small town in North Carolina. Kind of everything I'm doing now was kind of way outside of my, my vision of what I thought was possible. So Honda's definitely made, I wouldn't even say dreams come true because I wasn't even dreaming it would happen. Uh, so it's, it's beyond that including Ohio guys, including Japan guys, including Canadian guys in the factory side. Just amazing to see how all these people with different uh, specialties and uh, talents come together. It doesn't matter if you're driving or prepping the car or packing a trailer or repairing something. It's all the same. It's actually for the team. An enduro race, you're not going to win the race off the first lap. And uh, the start is definitely just, it's just another lap. At first when you're driving, you're just a little bit tense and a little nervous and you're just focused. You have all your drive and focus, uh, focus on this, the next two turns. That's all you're thinking about. Once you get in your rhythm, you start to relax a little bit. Uh, different things going through your head and uh, you start to get in a mode and that's when things start clicking. Staying calm, staying collected, being aware of what's going on around you is way more important in endurance racing than, than the kind of sprint racing that a lot of us are used to. The Civic Type R is a track-oriented car that we've brought to the track and we're doing exactly what that car was designed to do. To show that the cars can go through that um, kind of abuse out here on track really shows the engineering uh, that we put into the cars for everyone that can buy it right off the dealership. A 25 hour race in enduro like this one set the car up to be as quick but more, more importantly efficient. Um, we've actually set these Civic Type R's up to be as efficient as possible on fuel as well as on tire usage. We could make them faster for single lap sessions, uh, but instead we're making them as efficient as possible to reduce time in our pit stalls. Just a confirmation, we've got fifth gear only at the moment. No, 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 a new one. Just do oh, it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do it now and manage now. that one, the new it. one, and everybody can drive like you're supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, now, do it. We lost fourth gear. We're running with the fifth and third, trying to stay in fifth as much as possible. But we continue to have transmission problems. So, unfortunately, we had to bring the car in, uh, get the transmission changed. Of course, it's going to cost us some time, but uh, we can do that, get the car back out. Uh, how much time it'll take, we'll see. Uh, we've done we've done engine swaps, transmission swaps. They have a lot of experience with it. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get it done quick and get the next driver out. It's a huge challenge because we're racing in the winter. The day is so short that you spend most of the race at night. Your vision's restricted based on how far you can see. We can normally see uh, maybe 100 yards or so in front of you at a time, which sounds like a lot until you're moving at 140 miles an hour. So we have used a lot of extra clues that you can't use in the daytime to kind of make up for that lack of vision. Right when you go in and it's pitch black, it feels like you're on your own planet. And then until uh, that sun rises, you kind of feel like, okay, the sun's here, there's some life out here, and you can kind of see the, the rest of the track versus just a black space. And that's, that was really nice and kind of, you kind of get your second wind going. As an engineer at Honda, I had an opportunity to uh, kind of race their cars, some of the products that, that we design and build. Um, it just really motivated me to, to want to be in those cars. 
If I could tell my younger self what I would be doing now, I, I think it would be unbelievable. That'll be always important to Honda is, is the value that we put in people. But I think the most important thing was that, that everybody realized you require teamwork, you depend on other people's skill sets to make this happen. And at the end of the day, at the end of the race, there's so much satisfaction that goes, that comes out of that, that I think that's what fuels people wanting to come back to do it more.